वॉट्सअप गाइज दिस इज रॉनी वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल टोटल टेक्नोलॉजी दिस इज ट्यूटोरियल वन वन थ्री एंड टूडेज टॉपिक विल बी डेवलपिंग वन चैट एप विथ मॉन्गो डी बी मैसेज हिस्ट्री यूजिंग लैंग चेंज ओके सो बेसिकली आल बी गोइंग टू डेवलप अ चैट एप एंड वेन आई से चैट एप आल बी गोइंग टू मेक इट यूजिंग स्ट्रीम लिट एंड इन द बैक एंड ऑफ दिस चैट आल बी गोइंग टू यूज मॉन्गो डी बी एंड मॉन्गो डी बी इज एक्चुअली गोइंग टू होल्ड all the message history or conversation history okay this is going to be a very straight forward tutorial but i believe uh, a lot of you guys requested that how to store my message history inside mongo db or any other database so this is the tutorial here you can uh, see that uh, first i will set up uh, mongo db database from the cloud atlas and after that i will show you how to create um, how to create your database how to create your Uh, inside uh, MongoDB, you have something called collection, and inside the collection, how you gonna store the message history, and later on how to actually fetch those things. So all those things I'll be going to teach you in this tutorial. Okay. So one more thing, uh, this is the most uh, like requested video for last one month that uh, I should create a video with LangChain, and in the video, the user is going to interact with the user. Uh, sorry, user is going to interact with going to interact with the LLM. and the message history will be saved into a backend database so this is the tutorial okay and mongodb is actually widely used so if you learn and understand this tutorial you can easily implement and customize this thing for your client or for your job or anywhere okay okay so what are the prerequisite for this tutorial so you have to install this langchain mongodb i have already installed this thing so that i won't be actually going to do this thing but i'll be going to show this thing so let me open my browser and if you see i already log into this link and i create an account and once you create an account you have to go here and there you will see something like this so the moment you go there you will find already a cluster is assigned with your name and after that you have to go to your browse collection okay and here you will see multiple collections are there collections are basically a, a table in mongodb is a no sql database so there is a no concept of table rather than there is a concept of collection so i'll be going to create something called a database called langchain and i'll be going to create uh, chat history okay and let's create okay so i just create a database and i just create a collection chat history so inside this my document will be saved i mean my message history will be saved right now it is actually having zero okay so now let's minimize this thing and uh, let's start working okay and the tutorial is actually available here as uh, the source code will be available here okay so let's start so first thing first from uh, what exactly will be going to do will be going to import uh, first will be going to import let's say import streamlit streamlit as st right then from langchain open ai import chat open ai right and then i'll be just going to set up the llm this are the very basic stuff okay and then uh, i'm going to write model equals to gpt hyphen 4 right okay everything is done right so now we'll be going to import those message history related stops okay so let me right so let's see so first thing first uh, from langchain underscore mongodb okay dot chat message history it will be import mongodb message history right i believe nothing else is required so <coughs> now what we'll do we'll be just going to write st dot title okay here i'll be just going to write uh, chat app with message history okay then then i'll be just going to create a user variable so why i'm creating this thing i'll tell you uh, st dot text input so there i'll be just going to write enter your username okay so that i can maintain a session for that actually i'm creating it okay and then i'll be going to create a variable called question 
and there I just write st dot text input enter your question all done right everything is fine right now what will happen uh, I'll be going to create a variable chat with history okay this is basically mongodb message history and it requires a couple of things okay so let's see connection string session id database name uh, i think yeah these things will be required okay, session id is required okay connection string is required database name is required and collection is required so probably i think we can easily uh, get this thing here okay session id key id okay so let's write this thing one by one rather than so session id session ids actually come from this variable user okay i just write it here okay then my connection string connection string is actually a uh, very important thing okay so one more thing i actually forget so let me go here so you have to go to your uh, mongodb atlas and after that you have to click here in the database and there you have to click um, thing mm, yeah i think database access if you click in database access you will see multiple users so i have to click i have already created a user okay but i forget the password so what i have to do i have to click in edit and after that i'll edit password and there i'll be just going to write a password so it will be llm one two three four i'm just going to write a simple password see llm one two three four and update user okay it is done now once this is done user id is this so what you have to do uh, you have to go to database okay then connect and there you have to go here and you have to copy this thing remember okay this thing okay now just paste it okay okay like this okay and now basically here we have to replace this with your username my username is actually ronitas and my password is llm1234 okay llm1234 okay next thing is actually database name database name is actually langchain okay right so i think this is also uh, this is also a string because it's written string right so i can write this okay and then next thing is actually my collection name okay collection name is also a string so i can simply write chat underscore history okay all done right this is created now what will happen um, the moment user is asking something user is already asked a question here so basically what you have to do chat history dot add 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 this will be add user message because this message is asked by user so there what i'll be going to write i'll be going to write this question okay right and after that i'll be just going to create a variable called response equals to llm dot invoke okay and there i'll be just going to write down the question done and then what will happen again i'll be just going to use this thing and add ai message because this message is actually uh responded by ai this response okay so it will be response dot content okay so everything is actually this means is actually this okay and after that what i'll do i'll be just going to display the message in my streamlit console okay response dot content okay so in this way what is actually happening here i'm getting the response here but these two lines is extra this line and this line this line is actually managing the history okay now one more thing so guys this is not the very efficient or advanced way of doing this thing but just to develop some sort of intuition i am doing in this way this is the one of the simplest format but this is a very bad way of doing it okay but still this is one of the very basic way we are starting from the beginning so that is why i am just doing it but later on i will be just make it like uh, uh, more efficient way i mean the way where actually uh, 
for notware uh, the way which actually being used by uh, everyone in the company or in the enterprise level okay so what i'll do i'll be just going to create a new terminal and let's execute this thing streamlit run main dot py okay right so i just copy this thing i don't want to do it in this browser i want to do it here in my in this browser okay but now uh, let's go and check you that uh, browse collection that there is nothing because the moment i hit the enter it will give something langchain and chat history so see i have nothing okay so let's execute okay it is saying that okay to value human message contains to okay human messages uh, human message add user message api message hmm. okay so i don't know what is this okay error is actually giving me in this line this line is actually giving the error yeah yeah this line is actually giving error this question okay hmm uh, why this is not accepting this thing okay good so this is text text i just get time text input okay fine this is done so let's execute this thing now fine now what will happen i'll be going to write an user then okay so i'll be just going to write my name and i'll be just going to question ask a question okay so let's ask the question uh, how are you how are you okay and hit enter so it is doing something and it will generate something here see yeah okay now how are you and this will be available in my mongodb so let's refresh okay okay so see so session id was nothing right nothing okay ai hello uh, how can i assist today so this is the message from the ai this these two things are very simple at the beginning it was happening and then uh, session id is this ronnie human uh, uh, okay content is nothing okay i say how are you and then i am a computer program so basically there are some something is not working correctly i actually uh, let me actually do it in a different way just hold on so what i'll do let me delete this chat history first okay let me delete this chat history okay let's create the database langchain okay and then chat history okay hold on okay so here uh, we have to do something in a different way so if you see here uh, the moment user hits enter then it should come right so for that what actually required so what i do after asking this question okay this should actually keep on checking this thing okay so what i'll do i will cut this thing and no it has to be here or else it will not work because it is here user okay so it, this is here and after that this is setting this thing and it will check if uh, user and question both are not null then what will happen will be going to actually instance instantiate a button st dot button okay equals to okay okay then if btn means if button is pressed then this entire thing will be go inside this okay i believe that is the right way of doing it okay so now what i'll do i'll go and check if i have anything here In the chat history i have nothing okay so what i'll do uh, i'll just close this thing let me see whether i'm able to open it or not it's not opening because i close it so let's write 
streamlit run main dot py okay fine let's copy this thing minimize this thing and refresh this thing it is done okay and there, nothing is there and of course let's check nothing should not be here as well right so what is the unsupported operand for str and str okay so yeah mm, i think mm, okay i think only question will be enough okay fine if user then question and then this entire thing i believe this is much better way of doing it okay let's see yeah now what i'll do i'll be just going to write wrong and after that i'll be just going to uh, write a question uh, uh, while engine is important and after that uh, this button is coming here okay now let's see if anything is here yeah nothing is there now button is coming because it is here now we'll be going to click on hit button i mean the ok button so after ok button it is actually going to generate something okay now it is going to generate the response and the response will be available at the below so let's see yeah it is generating something fine now my objective is to check in the database whether i'm able to see it or not okay so see user asks why langchain is important and this is giving you this answer okay this answer okay so you see this is the entire thing available here the entire thing available okay right and if you just want to cancel and if you just want to copy this thing copy document and let's uh, let's paste it and see yeah too many things are there yeah so everything is actually coming okay okay right so i believe uh, that is the thing so let me ask another question and um, if you see here this is actually session id is ronnie my user id is actually getting saved so now let's ask for someone like let's say bob let ask uh, what is the uh, right uh, what is the uh, inverse of uh, 1 by 0 let's ask this question and let's ask okay let's see okay so i'm not looking for the correctness of the answer rather than i'm just want to check whether it is going to use the this bob and after that it is storing or not yeah bob bob ask what is the involve of this and after that bob so like the wise it is actually creating these things okay this is very important right so that is the objective i just want to show you guys okay but in the in the next tutorial what i'll do i'll be going to actually show you uh, how can how you can actually um, utilize this thing to create uh, like automatic uh, message history like here i'm actually adding this thing manually right but i want to actually develop a system where uh, the moment user enters something and the LLM is actually going to respond something everything will be automatically captured you don't have to do anything uh, or, uh, like manually it means only you have to instantiate this thing and after that it will be taken care by the system automatically okay so I think uh, we can uh, do that as well okay and for that uh, probably I'll be going to uh, create one more tutorial okay so in that tutorial I'll be just going to do it so basically that will be the advanced uh, way of uh, storing your conversation history inside mongodb but this is the uh, 
this is this is the actually the entry point or this is kind of a very basic uh, um, what you can say the very basic uh, fundamentals of storing uh, message inside a backend database okay hopefully this will uh, help you to develop some sort of intuition and in the future videos you can easily like extend or customize this logic to do something better but in the next tutorial I, I'm, I'm going to actually um, create that um, uh, create that logic and I'll show you how to do that okay so with that note I'll be just going to conclude the video over here and before I conclude guys please subscribe to my channel hit the like button share my videos with your family and friend and also don't forget to hit the bell notification icon okay and why I'm actually putting a lot of emphasis uh, on subscription because uh, you guys are not subscribing to my channel and that is why it is not growing guys please help me to grow my channel I am putting a lot of effort to create this content please help me and support me guys and i'm promising that i always come back with nice and quality content okay okay so with that note i'll be just going to conclude the video over here we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye have a nice day and happy learning